Tommy Magnus here. Basically, there is no Muslim ban, and everyone knows that. But I need to it. Obviously, as you know, a list of seven countries: Iran, Sudan, Syria, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, and Yemen have been have not been banned people from those countries and look at those countries they're uh, they are muslim majority countries there is no muslim ban though which has to there is a temporary suspension for six weeks on people from those countries going to america and there is a 120 day suspension on people from refugees which I, I mean obviously I don't think I think you should help actual refugees of course but how it's the double standards that gets me because Barack Obama was did the exact same thing in 2011 when he banned Iraqis from coming to America for six months he banned visas for refugees from Iraq for six months and now and Obama has obviously come out and said oh no this is terrible this uh, this uh, travel ban is, is a disgrace I would have never done it and who who was it who um who made set up these these seven countries it was him it was him who uh, pointed out these not only pointed out he set up that put pointed out that these were countries that were risks to the United States and so it was brought on Trump has literally just followed on what Obama had set in place and yet Obama obviously not the not the hero that he likes to make himself out as not the great lover of uh, Muslims or people in the Middle East I mean otherwise why would he have bombed them why would he have let Hillary Clinton go into uh, Libya and ruin Libya basically now I, I mean and I, I, I agree with a lot of people I'm not saying this is a good thing I'm just saying why is it so much worse if Donald Trump does it? And th this isn't the total ban that he promised everyone. He said he would do this, so he's done it. And it's only a 90 day ban. And he's just probably in the end of it, might keep it, who knows. But he'll probably just lift it and increase vetting for people from country these seven countries and similar countries. Like Now, I agree with the criticism that... Um, Countries like Saudi Arabia should be on there. Um, freaking who else? Some of the other Gulf states that are similarly linked to uh, linked to Saudi Arabia, and I mean, I just think it's crazy because they should be helping people, actual genuine refugees from Syria. And that's what they need. And yes, not only should they uh, ban, I, I would ban freaking not Afghanis, uh, Pakistanis. They should maybe also be on those because they were actually part of people who did 9-11. Iraqis, uh, Pakistanis, Afghanis, all that stuff. Although, so I mean, if he really wanted to make it a Muslim ban, he would go to the highest population Muslim countries like Indonesia, like Pakistan, like Bangladesh, like Egypt. You go, you would go straight Saudi Arabia. Mm, Saudi Arabia is not top, uh, top population Muslim. But you get my point. I'm saying if he wanted to, he could have made it so he so much so easily. And it, the um. The hypocrisy of the people protesting. And do they really think anything's gonna come from it? Oh yeah, Trump's just gonna he's just gonna resign because a couple of people are protesting. Where were the protests when Obama, Obama did it to Iraqis in 2011? And where were they when Hillary bombed the shit out of Benghazi? When they got rid of um, 
suffering Gaddafi, Colonel Gaddafi in Libya. Where, where were they when uh, when the US says were harming the terrorists and still are? They're still funding terrorists. And, um, but that's what I mean. Saudi Arabia should should be on this list, but obviously Saudi Arabia is very wealthy. That's why it's not on this list because it has power, money, and influence over the region. And Saudi Arabia is best friends with Israel. You gotta forget that. And um, where, uh, where were the protests when um, Saudi Arabia, none of the rich Gulf states, didn't take in any refugees who are also Arabs, also Muslims, also Sunnis, but they weren't there because they look, they think they're dirt. They're not, they're not as good as them because they're not, they're not as pure Arab or whatever because they're mixed. The Syrians are a, they're a great people actually. A mixture of the Romans were there, the freaking Assyrians were there, they had all sorts of the great history and who was destroying their great history? ISIS and by uh, <laughs> really, uh, a, lot, a lot of the West for not siding with uh, Assad, General Assad. General Assad? Yeah. But yeah, that's another thing talking about Assad. But I think people are all getting, because it's not forever. And I don't think anyone has the right to just travel anywhere. It shouldn't just be it, or even live, especially not live anyway. And I think that is a point. I understand that because America is such strong, has a very uh, strict vetting on these things, so which I think is a good thing. And I would like that brought in across Europe. And I'd also like similar bans on some other s similar countries in Europe and Britain and all sorts. But I would say strong thing about immigration, refugees, all that is strong vetting no matter where they come from. I think on basis of principle it shouldn't just be from people from whatever nation. But I suppose one of the funny things, people think it's like some great betrayal of Iraq or whatever. And, and people being like, oh, there's going to be massive consequences. Oh, like Iraq and the Middle East had, and Iran, all the Middle East had a good, good view. The Islamic world as a whole had a positive view of America before now. Oh, yeah, they were like, oh, yeah, Obama's great. He, uh, I don't know, he's still bombed Muslims. And no, America's always going to be number one evil up with Israel when it comes to the Islamic world and the Middle East. It, they see America, they see Israel. Two sides, same side of the same, two sides of the same coin, you know? Like, so people saying there's gonna be massive uh, reactions to this. I mean, I don't think there will be. And will they be able to get, get the uh, ISIS terrorists into America? If they're strong then, probably not then. So where are you going to have these reactions? So you're going to have it in Paris, or oh, we've already had it there. In Brussels, we've already had it. In th the list of these countries, people say, oh, well, none of these terrorist attacks have been from people of these origins in America, but people from these origins have uh, done attacks in Europe over the past year and a half, all the many attacks that have happened. Is admittedly, some of them North African as well. A lot of them have been from these countries and also posed as refugees to get into Europe and cause problems. So it's a very naive way to look at it and the media and left wing, not even just the left wing media, the mainstream media and people who were suckered into that all believe that this is some kind of new evil thing that Trump has done and it's, it, they've made, they, they, by sensationalizing it and calling it a Muslim ban of feeding into it, people's hysteria over hating Trump and making it much worse when they're not clearly looking at the facts 
they're not looking at how countries in the Middle East do the exact same thing to Israelis and I mean I can't just go to Saudi Arabia people oh wait Saudi Arabia yeah again tourists can't just go there they have to like have a sponsor they have to know someone who's Saudi Arabian to be able to go there but anyway at the moment no one can go to Saudi Arabia unless they're from a Gulf state but they've actually suspended travel to tourists at the moment and oh, you wouldn't be able to go there anyway not with a large number of Islamic countries if you were Israeli or someone who's visited re Israel so it's a ban on these nationalities rather than Muslims and it's because these countries have been listed out as possible terror terrorist and threat place type places and this was outlined by man himself Barack Obama who uh, I do not think highly of and uh, will uh, I'm scared they'll be been into the history as some kind of hero because the media has made him out to be such a great guy even though he's not and he actually he banned Iraqis so screw him he's been a hypocrite he always was a hypocrite uh, for uh, taking the moral high ground on these situations when he would do the exact same things and he actually did more war in the Middle East obviously he's never good gonna be seen as bad as is it Bush but or Trump Trump doesn't even have to go to war ever he may never go to war or actually do anything terrible in his uh, his reign his, uh, his four years maybe more if he gets elected again but he'll still go down as being lots much worse than Obama by the left for no reason because he says things, and because people take what he says literally, it's not what he what he means, or nor what is actually happening.